to drop off that ballot last minute. Just be mindful you may be dodging a few light rain showers out there across the region. Now the big story moving forward is this rain is going to settle in overnight tonight. Before now we kind of get the scattered shower activity and most importantly cooler temperatures earlier today even around two o'clock we were still sitting at 70 degrees. We've since dropped into the 60s but even if you're not seeing the rain you can smell it out there and the reason why is something we call petrichor. All it is is all the rain up in the upper levels of the atmosphere start to drift down into a dry atmosphere. We usually get this whenever we have a dry spell and we see showers right after it. We get this kind of smell like an earthy smell out there and the reason why is dirt and suspended particles way up in the atmosphere are suspended floating around. But then once we start to get this rain, it brings down a lot of that right down toward the surface. And it's a famous word that we call petrichor, and we are going to be smelling a lot of that over the next few days. You can see the shower starting to drift down over the foothills. Again, we had some rounds of showers pushing through Eugene out towards Springfield earlier this afternoon. We're getting a bit of a lull right now, but overnight tonight, you can see the main cold front is still well to the north, so all this moisture is going to be drifting down along I-5. Steadiest rainfall still expected around 9 o'clock tonight. It's a little bit later than originally expected, but uh, even if if you're not seeing the rain, you will eventually see it. Now what started earlier today is something we call Virga and all that is is rain that just doesn't reach the ground. And the reason why is we've had about a six to seven day stretch of completely dry conditions that dries out the atmosphere. But luckily, as it starts raining heavier and heavier, that moisture drifts a little bit closer down to the surface. So even if you haven't seen the rain just yet, the Virga will turn to showers late this evening once the entire atmosphere gets saturated. Now, right now we still have some dry air down towards Roseburg, even here across Eugene. Humidity is still pretty low considering the rains moving in, but late tonight we should get some heavier browns of showers starting to move through. I should say steadier in nature, not necessarily heavier, but that will continue overnight tonight and as we wake up on Wednesday morning. Wednesday evening, though, we get a little bit of afternoon heating and we could see some more pop up showers, but by Thursday, I would suspect clear skies across the region, mainly sunny skies as dry air starts to move back in. So all in all, Sunday, we are expecting some drier conditions into Memorial Day, but we could see some more showers by next week. The big story about this upcoming weekend and next week is it's not a washout rain. It's scattered showers in nature, and we get a lot more of that into next week. Your seven day forecast for the coast. 54 Wednesday afternoon. Again, we are expecting another round of showers Friday and into Saturday, but Memorial Day looks a OK for the Roseburg area. 64 tomorrow, a few isolated showers as well as Saturday. I would expect most of the rain again to hold north of Roseburg, but man, 80 degrees once we head toward Memorial Day. So uh, rain showers today will slowly transition to a little bit of snow for the Cascades, but all in all, we shouldn't expect anything more than an inch. And for Eugene and Corvallis, 60 tomorrow, so you can see the cooler weather settling in. But hey, it's perfect timing for Memorial Day, though. I know you yeah. see that sunny in 75. That yeah, looks really good, really mm -hmm. good. All right, thank you very much, Holden. Yep. Next on KZI 94, what do you get when you mix Legos with dinosaurs? One exciting.